Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm usually super excited about Moft products as they are cool and their designs are super innovative. And this one here is the product which I was most excited to try out as it takes the standard magnetic iPad case to a whole new level. This is the Moft Snap float folio and I have it in the jet black color. Let's unbox it and check out all the coolness. So here we go. Straight away, here's the case. It feels decent quality. Inside we have the thank you card and instructions. We really need the instructions in this case. So the case, it feels very premium quality, but yeah, you can't just overlook the fact that it's cut in half in the front. Weird feeling, but there is a reason for this and that too a very good one. It will look much better with the iPad in place. So let's get my 11 inch iPad Pro into the case magnetic case so all you need to do is just bring the iPad into place and it sticks. This case is compatible with the redesigned iPad Air as well, we'll test that a little later and Moft also offer a version for the bigger 12.9 inch iPad as well. The case fits quite snugly and here is how it looks. Typical features wise, it's a magnetic case so you get easy access to all the buttons and ports, the camera cutout is perfect and you have the Moft branding to the side as well. Also, the edges do have a slight lip that extends beyond the borders of the iPad, so you will have a bit of drop protection. Plus, you have the sleep wake option. Actually, you can see the iPad waking up from the slit if you move it slightly. I do have a tempered glass screen protector on my iPad, so there's a bit of interference, but it's not that bad. Also, this case does add a bit more weight than your typical magnetic folio cases and there is a justified reason for that, which we'll get to next. And the case also holds the iPad in place firmly and it doesn't come off easily. Now, Moft means origami and that is what is cool and unique about this case as you can fold it out into several shapes, including one which gives the iPad height by transforming into the stand. Now, to figure out these various origami folding options which the case offers, it's like solving a puzzle. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's like walk in the park. So first main mode is pretty simple. Open the case and unfold the cutouts outwards so it snaps into place and voila, you've got the perfect stand for your iPad. It's really sturdy so it holds the shape and look at the perfect height which this provides. Almost like a desktop stand for your iPad. But with those stands, you need to pull your iPad from the case and then stick it onto the stands. But here, the case itself converts into the stand. And that really is so convenient. I find this perfect when sitting in front of my desk and working on the iPad because the stand gives that right elevation. Now, the benefits don't just stop here. This, after all, is a magnetic iPad case and a cleverly designed one that too. So you do get the usual watching and typing modes. Again, to achieve these positions, you need to put your iPad into this kind of position and tuck the flaps inside to get the perfect triangle. And look at this. You have the typical stand position of the magnetic case. Actually, it feels much more sturdy and upright than the normal magnetic stands especially the typing angle, which is really perfect and upright. And that solid triangle means that it holds the position correctly even if you apply pressure on your iPad. This inclination is amazing and you can type comfortably on your iPad. Now, there is a third final position and that is the float position where the iPad elevates slightly and sticks to part of the case. You do this just by folding the back into this triangle shape and then flip your iPad and that's it. You get this new elevated position where the iPad does sit higher than the usual magnetic triangle shape and I find this perfect for viewing content even on the bed. This gives that right elevation. And here is that position, you can look at it in all different angles including the back and it is quite sturdy. So your iPad won't fall off and it will stay in place. So really awesome angles here, which the case offers and 
If you do it a few times, it becomes very simple and you can almost do it blindfolded. Here is I after trying this for a few times, just like a pro, all the three positions, you can time me and see how quickly I'm doing these. So that's the stand mode, fold it off, and then you get the typical reading typing mode. And then finally, the float mode. And once it's all done, just close it off and off you go. So I'm really loving this case, guys. But to be fair, let me cover the downsides as well. Like I mentioned, the case does add a bit more weight as it needs to support all that various positions, especially that stand mode. And I can't help but feel that slit, which is very evident whenever you touch your iPad. Also protection wise, this is not a case which covers your iPad fully. Actually, none of the magnetic cases, including the official Apple one, do offer that. So it's just the design and you still need to be able to handle your iPad carefully. Now, besides this, there is nothing. Everything else is simply perfect. And this iPad case is simply amazing. There's nothing like it. It's totally versatile, offers you that multiple angles, including that amazing stand mode. And without the need for a stand on your desktop, you can just use this case and fold it and take it along with you when you're done. This case also works with the redesigned iPad Airs as well. So both the iPad Air 4 and iPad Air 5 are compatible. As you can see, it's simply perfect with my iPad Air 4 in place. So kudos to Moft for coming up with such amazing idea. I highly, highly recommend this. All links and any offer codes will be in the description box below. So please do check them out and you will not be disappointed. So that's it guys. Any questions about this case, please leave it down below and I'll make sure to respond to all of them. And whilst you're there, if you're enjoying my content, a like to this video will be immensely helpful. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already done that and I'll keep making these videos for you. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, guys. Thank you for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.